Hey guys, it's Emily Skinner and this is at me. I will be responding to your comments from Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, and YouTube. So let's get into it. So this is a photo of me and my friends at Halloween Horror Nights and Ye Dot Ha wrote, do people ever run up to you and just yell Skinner asking for a friend? No, but people do run up to me and yell Amber Alert and I don't think I'll ever live that one down. <laughs> This is a photo I posted. Tess Brimmer commented, CEO of fairy emoji. Tell me different. I, literally every photo I post, no matter what it is, I could literally be doing nothing and they'll be like, you look like a fairy. And I'm like, that's so sweet. But like, I don't really understand. Yeah, it's cute. What TV show character does M remind you of? Oh yeah, Lily and I were at lunch and we were both just so curious what TV show character I reminded people of. And so Cherishine Brina said, Marsha Brady from the Brady Bunch. I get that all the time, literally on Andy Mac to call me to set. They would be like, Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. Navy, yeah. I think I said that right. Said Amber from Andy Mac. They look really similar. It's scary. <laughs> that, I've never gotten that one. That's really interesting. I don't know who that is, but I'll have to look her up. Okay, this is a t this is a TikTok I posted of me and my dog. And I say this is Molly. She's very old. <laughs> Bella, the fella. I love that. Said. Hi, I look up to you so much mm, and I want to be an actor. So I was wondering if you had any advice for me. Oh, that's so sweet. You have to love acting is what I always say. You don't want to just do it for the fame or for, you know, the end goals of it. You have to love going to acting class and memorizing scripts and going on auditions. It takes a lot of time and you have to have a lot of patience, but if you love it, it'll be worth it. Okay, and another comment from No Capital Sean says, what kind of celebrity has this type of phone quality? <laughs> Everyone was coming at me. It's like this filter that makes it super saturated and grainy. And everyone's like, you look like you're taking this on a microwave, but I like it. So nothing's gonna stop me. Oh, this is another TikTok I posted with Kyla. We did a dance. Kalechi.exclusive said, I bet a million dollars that she won't reply. I'm gonna go back and reply to that comment because I wanna see if she'll actually take me up on this. I'm just kidding. I have responded to those comments before and they never pull through and it's kind of disappointing. <laughs> Okay, this is a photo I posted in Hawaii. I think it was right after the music video with Johnny came out, I'm gonna guess. <laughs> and, and Galaxy Rugby said, do you date Johnny? <laughs> I don't date Johnny, I'm sorry. Johnny and I are friends and I do not date him. <laughs> oh, this is a comment from the bottled up music video. YMB Rich commented, it seems like Emily's the mean girl in everything. Solar Eclipse. Andy Mac and this. <laughs> I think they meant total eclipse. Um, yeah, <laughs> that tends to happen. I'm actually really grateful that Brat casted me as a not mean girl in Crown Lake. So thank you, Brat, because I had a lot of fun. I do play the mean girl a lot. I think after Andy Mac, it kind of became like a trend because people were like, oh, she plays a really good mean girl. Let's hire her as the mean girl. And I was like, oh my God. But I actually just filmed a movie and I play a different character in that too. So I'm starting to branch out. Okay, this is a tweet I tweeted actually the other day. And I said, I swear I always feel like I'm gonna fail that I'm not a robot test. Sometimes they trick me. Sadie Tulips commented, I knew a real person couldn't be that perfect. Sadie Tulips also commented, the simulation is clutching. <laughs> I literally got so com so many comments on that tweet being like, I knew you were a robot. Like, I was like, whoa. Um, yeah, maybe I am. Okay, this is from another tweet. I retweeted Skinner's tweet. Who would win in a fight? And I said, I'd like to know. Plain Finn said, they all look like they could snap my neck. <laughs> That is true. All my characters are very intimidating people and usually they're like really soft on the inside, but like it's a picture of Diana, Amber, Chloe, and Cindy, and they all look like they're gonna kill someone and they probably will all win in a fight because they're all so scary. They're all soft on the inside, don't worry. Annie writes, did Emily Skinner as post-it a thread? I love these threads. I don't know how you came up with that but it's basically me and I always wear very color coordinated outfits also. So like it worked out very nicely because most of the time I look like a post-it note. So they have me as like every color 
and it's really cool. I said, ask me questions, I wanna talk to you guys. Closer Sabrina said, how can I love myself more? I need advice. I feel like we all could use this advice. I could use this advice. No one really is the expert of, of loving themselves. You know, it's a really hard thing to master, even though it seems like such a simple thing. It can be so hard, especially when you're at my age and like, you know, you're growing up as a teenager, like you can get so lost and confused and, you know, life can seem so crazy and you don't know like who you are and what you're doing yet because it's just the age that you're at. And so I just think when you can come to the point where you accept yourself as who you are with your quirks and your weirdness and like everything that you try to push away, if you let that in, I think that that will help you gradually love yourself so much more because you learn that those weird things about you, those are the things that make you so awesome and so cool. And that's what will make people love you in the long run. So I think that's what I'm trying to do. There's a few more on that same tweet. Peter Michelle said, favorite Disney movie. My favorite Disney movie is definitely the first, like the first animated Alice in Wonderland. I have watched it like so many times. It's just such a beautiful movie and it's so cute. And I just love, I just love it so much. It makes me so happy. Closer Sabrina also said, what is your favorite memory with Lilia? If you know me, you know I'm literally obsessed with the movie Trolls. Love that movie so much. So for my birthday, we went to New York and she took me to the Trolls exhibit. I'm sure she didn't want to go and her, her mom, Jane, probably also didn't want to go, but I was having the time of my life. Oh, that's funny. This was literally the trip. This is a picture of Lily and I in New York. And I said, when are we not laughing? And Isaac said, let's get this bread. And then that 70s kiddo said, for once, can't the bread get me? I'm tired of chasing the bread. <laughs> I feel that. <laughs> I'm not sure why Isaac commented that. We must have like, that must have been a joke. I don't know why you would just comment that, but that's really funny. For once, can't the bread get me? I feel you, that 70s kiddo. And that is it for at me. Um, thank you so much for always making me laugh, making me happy with your comments. I always appreciate it and I love you guys so much and I love reading them. Have a good day, love you guys.